Well, two women charged in the shooting death of a 17 year old Garden City High School student faced a judge this afternoon. Steve Garagiola following this for us. Uh, uh, Steve, both women charged with first degree murder in the shooting death that killed Reginald Robinson. Yeah, you know, I guess this is a day for uh, highly emotional and heartbreaking stories in courtrooms. The arraignment this afternoon, 36th District Court, the two women charged with first degree murder in the death of 17 year old Reginald Robinson. They showed no emotion at all this afternoon for the victim's family. They're finding it very hard to deal with their grief. And he watched over all of us, always a protector, always watching over, always, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. 17 year old Reginald Robinson shot and killed outside a gas station party store on Plymouth Road. The accused shooter, Erica Osborne, who along with Sharnia McCoy, who was driving their car, is charged with felony firearm and first degree murder. McCoy entered the store and thought it was Robinson or one of his friends who made derogatory remarks. She left, got a gun, and is accused of firing a fatal shot. Them girls took my baby and they not, not remorseful at all. They just looking like, oh well, you took my baby, my baby, my baby at 17, my baby gone. A statement from the prosecutor says Osborne and the victim had a heated exchange in the store. According to the boys who were with Robinson, none of them made a comment, but did laugh at hearing another man they didn't know hurl an insult at the woman about her size. The boys laughed. They did that. When, 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 when did laughing become a reason to take someone's life? You know, it, it, it has to stop. We're losing, we losing too many of our babies over stupidity. It, 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 Well, the victim's home is here behind me, and there's been a steady stream of family and friends to try to lend comfort, but there really is no comfort for this family. Those two women remain in custody. If convicted, they would face life in prison. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.